Coming up today, I'm gonna show you how to create animated overlays for your live streams. Here we go. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jay Freeman and I'm better known as the Marketing You Coach and I specialize in helping you brand your business, expand your reach and grow your revenue through the power of social media and technology. And today we have a great tutorial that I wanna get into. I'm gonna show you how to create lower thirds and how to create overlays for your live streams. Uh, not just the static overlay images that we normally see, but these are gonna be animated and we're gonna do it all in Keynote. Let's get started. Okay, here we are in our first efforts of making our actual lower thirds, okay? And so what we're gonna make sure that we do first of all is actually use our 16 by nine ratio. And then we're just gonna create a blank, a basic white is fine. And we're gonna open that up. And then we're actually gonna delete everything uh, that we have in here so we can have a clean slate, all right? So now, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna create a lower third for my show, right? And in order to do that, I wanna display my name and my website. Or I can display my name, my title, and the website as well. Uh, it just depends on what you wanna do. And so, what a lower third is, is if you look at this actual um, uh, canvas here, if you consider thirds, if it's split off in thirds, so you have the top, top portion, you have the middle portion and then you have the bottom or the lower third, okay? So you have the top third, the middle third, and the lower third. And so most of your graphics are gonna always be put in the actual lower third. Many times you may have a logo that you'll put in the top right or the top left or bottom right or bottom left. Um, but for the most, most part, when you're doing lower thirds, you're actually gonna have that text and stuff be down here. Uh, that accomplishes two things. One, you're able to uh, disseminate information and display that information uh, in a neat fashion to your audience. But two, also, you don't have to worry about covering up uh, any, any portion of your face or your body in this top portion of the actual video shot. Uh, most uh, shots are framed uh, with more of a three quarters of the way up kind of shot. And so you don't want to impede on your upper body um, as it relates to your shots and framing in your actual live streams, okay? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag in my actual uh, logo uh, for my personal brand. And we have that in, and I'm just gonna size it down just a little bit. Let's, let's make it about 160. And as you can see, um, Keynote will show you the actual size of any graphics that you bring in while you're actually resizing. So I'm gonna put it there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on the shape tool. And we're just gonna get a, a standard rectangle. And I'm gonna drag that down here. And I'm actually going to pull that out to about halfway, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna hold the option key and pull this out just a little bit. And so what I'm going for is, I wanna have a little bit of a buffer um, with the logo. So it looks like the logo is the kind of the centerpiece and then the information kind of flows with that, all right? And so um, this is already on top, but if this was on the bottom, I would just come here and I would go bring to front and that'll be on there. Sometimes you will uh, you will have that that actual which column and it's actually send it back now. Uh, but you would have your logo or whatever shape this is actually be hiding behind the previous layer. And so you just wanna go click on that and go bring to front. So now that we have our shape, we have our logo here on the actual uh, canvas. Now what I wanna do is I, I want to, I've already matched out my, I've already changed the actual color. And so it's now matching my brand color. Now what I wanna do is I wanna pull this out just a little bit because what I'm gonna do is I like for my graphics to fade. Some people may like this, and but I like for the end of my graphics to kind of fade or to create this, this new kind of creative uh, uh, atmosphere or environment uh, on the actual screen. And so I, you know, typically this would be a basic lower third or what have you, but I'm gonna add a little fade to the end of it, okay? So the first thing I need to do is I need to move from color field to gradient field. All right, and um, now I have the gradient set to 0%, so it's actually, um, it's going from left to right, okay? And so um, I wanna make sure 
now that I have the right color. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna just click on my brand color. And down here, I'm gonna do the same thing. And so I'm gonna have that brand color come in. So now you see, okay, it's just that one color again. Well, now what I wanna do is I just wanna add a little transparency to it. Let's put it at about 50%. And so now you can begin to see what's under it, okay? Um, and, it, and again, it makes for a nice effect when it's laid over the actual video for your live stream. Okay, now we have this graphic. Let's go ahead and put some text on this graphic. And so now I'm going to come here and let's just type in my name. All right, and we got JermaineFreeman.com and I'm gonna come over here and, and choose one of my favorite um, one of my favorite fonts, which is Bebus. And we're gonna scale that up to about, let's say about 80. And we're gonna change that text to white. And now we're gonna click off and we're gonna grab it again and we're gonna bring it down here. Okay, now you can see that's kind of, that's kind of too big uh, for what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna change it. Let's bring it down to about 70. Let me uh, double click on it and bring it down to about 70. Okay, I think that'll be fine. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna click on it again, click off and click on it again. And then I'm gonna I'm going to hold the option key and drag another copy. And that's gonna actually copy it for me. And on this copy, I'm gonna say, let's say brand consultant. And then we're gonna do a hyphen um, or a slash and let's put my website. Okay, all right, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna size this down. Size it down to a nice, nice kind of size. Okay, so now we have these two pieces and I'm just gonna eyeball the, um, the alignment between those two and, and our thing here for time's sake. So now we have this nice, nice um, lower third, right? I'm gonna um, take these and let's go ahead and align those. Go into your range and you're gonna go to align and I'm just gonna say uh, to the left. And then that's gonna make sure they beat, both of these are flush together. And then I'm going to actually group these layers. So I'm gonna group my text layers. And I also wanna group this and my logo, okay? So the background and my logo, make that group. So now we have two groups, right? And so now what I wanna do is, I actually want to make sure that everything that I've been grouping, I wanna make sure that I can actually add effects to it, right? And so this is where the fun part comes in. This is where the animation of this actually static graphic will come in. So the first thing I want to actually animate in is the actual background. And so I'm gonna just click on the animate um, functions tab. And now I'm gonna click on, for the build in, I'm gonna click on add an effect. And I'm just gonna do something basic uh, like a wipe, right? And voila, we see it wipe in. If we wanna preview it, we can preview it, okay? And let's say I wanna bring this down. I want it to be a little bit faster. So I'm gonna put it at about uh, 0.50 seconds. Uh, so that's like half of a second. Okay, and so I like I like that. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna click on the text and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select the wipe. I'm gonna bring this down to uh, half a second and then I'm going to let that play out. Okay, so now essentially what I have is the actual background coming in and then the actual text layer coming in. And so now what I wanna do, as you can see, it says the order here. So the first, part was the background. And then the second thing that's gonna uh, animate in is the actual text. Well, I wanna make sure that um, the background doesn't animate out first going out, right, on the build out. And so what I do is I keep this selected, I keep this text selected and I'll click on build out. And then I wanna go white. And we'll do the same thing. We'll take it to 50 and let that wipe out. Okay, and boom, now you see the white. So we're gonna actually animate it in, and I'm gonna show you how you can keep it there for a duration, and then we animate out, okay? And so now, 
uh, all we have to do is, so that's number three. Now we come here, we're gonna do the same thing for the actual document, okay? I'm sorry, uh, for the actual uh, background. And we come out to build out, same thing. White, let's bring this down to 50%. And so now we have that order. Now here's where you can actually control the actual duration. What you wanna do after you have that all done, you wanna click on this build order down here, okay? And then that's gonna bring the order that everything is building. So the build in and then the build out, right? And so here we're gonna start at the top. We don't want to have to click in order for this to happen. We want it to be automated. And so we're gonna actually go after the transition at the first one, right? So this is the actual background coming in. Then the next group is um, the actual text coming in. And so we're gonna say after build one. Now, the with build one would mean that they would animate the background and the text would animate in together. We don't want that coming in, but we are gonna do that going out, okay? And so now we have after build one, okay? Now, here's the other text, okay? We're still on the text, remember? We have background, text, text, background, because this is how we set up the animation, okay? And so now we have this um, for the text, and this is gonna be the text build out. But here's the trick. I want this to stay on the screen for six seconds so people can have a chance to read it and um, understand or, or uh, 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 see the actual information. And so what I wanna do now is um, I'm gonna delay the time on it. So I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna type in six seconds, but I have to do after build to, I'm gonna go six seconds and then I'm gonna go on this one, instead of on click, I'm gonna go with build. Because what I want to happen is when, after that six seconds and it's time to build out, it's time to animate, animate out, I wanna make sure that the background and the text animate together, all right? So let me show you how that's gonna look. Let me just go over here, uh, put this over here, and then I'm just gonna click preview. And so we're gonna wait six seconds, and then we're gonna both of those layers are gonna animate out. Okay, boom, voila. And so now you have your complete actual animation. Okay, now let me show you how that would look if uh, I decided not to animate with, and I decided to animate after the build. All right, and so we'll do that. We animate it in, um, waiting six seconds, and then it's gonna animate each layer out. So text first, and then the actual background. So it's just a matter of your personal preference of what you desire to do there. I like, you know, to, to animate both of the layers out by, together. All right, so now we have that. Okay, we're almost at, at the um, finish line, right? Here's the thing we have to do. You wanna now go to format, and because we need this to be a transparent background, so we don't need to have any background at all, we just need our actual graphics. And so what you wanna do now is you wanna come here uh, to the actual format, <clears throat> excuse me um, and you want to click off of the actual layers and then you're going to come down here to layer field and you're going to say none and voila it gives you the black background and you can see here where you begin to have a little bit of that transparency at the end um, sometimes I make it a little bit more extreme so it actually falls all the way off um, as it relates to the actual graphic okay and now we're ready to export this and import it into Canva. I'm sorry, into Ecamm Live. And so now we're just gonna come here. We're gonna go to export. We're gonna say movie. Okay. Uh, you wanna make sure that self plane is, is selected. You don't have to worry about all of this other information. All you wanna do is come down here to the resolution, go custom. And now we're gonna put in the dimensions that we uh, make our screens and things for. So it's gonna be 1920 by 1080. And this is automatically going to uh, calculate because of the ratio that we selected earlier, it's automatically gonna calculate. As soon as you click in that, it's gonna give you the 1080, okay? Then you wanna come down here because we need it in a format um, that exports with an alpha channel. Um, and an alpha channel allows all other programs that you export, um, import into 
to see the transparency of whatever graphic or video you may have or what have you, okay? And so we're gonna choose Apple ProRes 4444. Um, we're gonna select that and make sure export with transparent backgrounds is selected. And then once we do that, we're gonna click next. And we're all done, it's gonna begin to do its thing. I'm gonna put this in my live streaming and as I've had this lower third previously, I'm going to just overwrite Jermaine lower third, okay? And we're gonna come here. And so it's actually gonna export and then we're gonna import this into uh, Ecamm Live and I'm gonna show you how easy that is to do, uh, you know, on any scene that you may have or what have you, okay? And so it's, again, it's actually exporting. And because it's got animation, it's gonna take a little bit longer than you would be exporting an image or what have you. And then not to mention that I'm actually recording this. Um, so when I'm recording, of course, you know, your, your laptop is using a little bit more power or what have you. And so it's taking a little bit longer than it normally would. Uh, usually it takes anywhere from three to five seconds uh, for this to um, export out or what have you. Okay, always less than less than a minute. Okay, on your actual um, export. And so um, now let's go to um, let's go to Ecamm, and I'm going to go to live demo mode. And so you guys can see my actual screen here. And so now what I want to do is I want to actually bring that actual. Um, actual lower third in. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna create a new scene. Okay, so we got a new scene. And now what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna just uh, put that lower third over me or what have you, okay? And so I have this new scene and I'm just gonna keep it as new scene. And now I wanna come to the overlays and I'm just gonna click on the animated overlay, okay? Uh, so remember you have the regular static, you have um, the animated overlay, and then you have your text and all that down at the bottom. So I'm going to choose the animated overlay, and then I'm going to select the lower third, Jermaine lower third, and I'm going to bring that in. And boom, now you see it, okay? Now you see this lower third comes in, and it's actually going to play out, and then it's going to going to fade out, okay? And I can do the same thing. Now you can come in here, and you can have it, of course, autoplay, um, and you can have it to either loop or hide after it finishes, okay? And so here, I'm gonna show you, again, we can just play it, and you'll see it play through. It's gonna count six seconds, and then it's gonna come off the screen again, okay? And that's how you do it. It's really that simple, really that easy. And so I, you know, um, it's a great way to actually have your static images uh, really animate and really catch the attention of your viewers. Uh, just really adds to the overall presentation of your live stream, okay? Again, listen, if you really enjoyed this, click the subscribe button below, uh, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of my future videos that I have coming out. Subscribe, share, share, share with your people, and I will see you on the next one.